say is, is where we have gotten as a nation. We're looking at everything now. We're no longer a nation that really foresees that we're just a temporal people, that we're not here forever, that our legacies have to be based on for next generation. It's not what we can do for ourselves now, but we have to plant seeds for and sow seeds for our generations that come with a future set on what God is going to do in eternity. The greatest power that we have as a people and as people of faith and Christians is that we can look and realize you may take us through all kinds of mess now, but we know that it won't last forever because sooner or later, God is going to deliver us, and if it's not in the living, it's going to be in eternity in this world. Start walking around like and not fearing people on your job and not fearing people. Too many Christians walking around like wimp. Don't you know you got power? If you are if you are faithful to God, even in your workplace, if they fire you, God's gonna give you another job. He was talking about 501s. Uh, 501s, right? 401. 401. <laughs> it was another one in there someplace. Right? Uh, and she said, what blew my mind? She says, uh, if you got a 401k, uh, if you give a little bit, your job's got to give a little bit. Y'all just missed it. The Bible teaches the wealth of the righteous is stored up in the wickedness of the people. Don't look, that, don't get upset when your job don't do you right. Yeah. Listen to it, listen to it. You keep on taking everything you can get out of your job. And don't try to go and dress you if you are thinking about it. Don't let your job define you. Good job, y'all know that, right? <laughs> uh, no, no, who cares what they say about you at your job? Uh, who cares? Don't let them define you. Huh? Know this. Every Friday when the eagle uh, you just take your pay stub. If you got the wreck deposit, you take your paycheck. And while they're talking about you like a dog, they're not giving you increase. They're not doing anything to help you along the way. You go to the bank, you deposit that money, and you say, God, you are a great God. And then you go out and get you a little something and say, God, you are a great God. Don't worry, when you leave your job, leave your job at the job. I'm the only person that got to take the job home with them. <laughs> Don't let your job stress you out. And you know why you let it stress you out? Because you're living for it now. If you are faithful to God, huh? you just stand for what's right in the workplace. Huh? Don't you compromise anything. And you tell them, stand. If you got to argue, you got to fight, you do what's right. But you make sure that you have that job. Huh? And you want to do the best you can. Don't let them define you. Don't let them put you in a box. But you do the best you can so that the next brother or sister that comes along the way, they will have respect for those in the future. You have to see it for those in the world. You have to realize we got to always look at, I like folks who are retired. I, I, I like them. I like them. I like them because I want to see them around the church all along. Sister Diane, excuse me, where's Sister Diane? Sister Diane, you know, uh, she's our treasurer, right? She's been retired. The Lord bless her retirement. And I've been hanging around retired folks. I played golf with Brother Mike. He's retired. Uh, I don't know why I went back to a golf course to get a job because he's retired and now he can't play golf. With him. <laughs> but I'm going to talk about that another time. But, uh, you know what? Bless my soul. I'm going to let you know how God works. When Sister, Sister uh, Diane, if I can, retired, uh, she didn't push away from the church. She looked at what she could do greater for the church. And, and so now she's taking Brother Randy through all kinds of administrative changes because she's looking at doing the uncommon 
the common in an uncommon way. Uh, and so there's policies coming down that we have to change because we now see they need to be changed in the way that we do business. But here, God blessed her with a job she was faithful on. She retired from that job, and now she's given her service to the church. And now because she's given her service to the church, the job that she retired on is paying for her to be at the church. So I When you put the kingdom of God, I want you to know this. When you deny yourself, and then I'm closing, John, Amen. God will take you to new territory. Yeah. He will give you new tasks. And will give you new opportunities. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. When God will give you new territories, understand when you deny yourself and put God first, God is going to stretch you. Yes. He's going to stretch you so wide and so far. Yes. Yes. You will see that you, you never knew that you have this potential within you when you put God first. Then God's going to give you some new tasks. He's going to give you some new things to do in your life that will be a blessing not just for you, but will be a blessing for those who are around you. And then God's going to give you new opportunities. You cannot be faithful to God and not see God give you new opportunities in your life. You have not because you deny not. But when you start denying yourself, when you start looking for the things of the kingdom, I want you to know, God is going to expand you in yes, ways yes. that you've never experienced before. Thank you, Lord. And that's what this service is all about. Can you commit yourself to denying yourself for the greater glory of God in your life? This is the word of the Lord from God. Let's put our hands together and thank you.